I'm seeing this more and more often with my patients who've been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome, diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, diagnosed with diabetes. Many of them are struggling with stomach pain and abdominal pain and constipation and diarrhea and chronic bloating. They've been on keto diets, they've been on low FODMAP diets, they're on low histamine diets, and their diet unfortunately is becoming more and more restrictive of what they can and they can't eat. And it's almost impossible to tell what's caused by food and what's being caused by the actual state of dis disorganization of their gut. I say this only because in the last few weeks, I've had a handful of new patients who've come to me not being able to really eat much of anything after being on a keto or carnivore diet. And I've had a, the one patient was on a low FODMAP diet for over 18 months. And it's now becoming impossible to try to introduce new uh, foods without a reaction. And this is a consequence of, of really what we're seeing more and more patients, uh, happening to more and more patients because they're on these diets. Essentially what many have done unintentionally is you're eating basically a high fat, high protein diet, low carb, low fiber, and low polyphenols. You've created this perfect storm to really snuff out your acromancia, really just wipe out those levels of short chain fatty acids. But that's not the only thing that causes low levels of short chain fatty acids and low levels of acromancia.